Hello, 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 everyone. I missed y'all. I am going to be making some coasters. As y'all can see, I've already tried to set everything up so that I can just make everything smooth and fast. And today, guess what, y'all? Today, I will be using Stone Coat Art Coat. Stone Coat Countertop Art Coat. Now, um, this will be my first time using it. So, I'm hoping that everything will go well because I really, really wanted to try this so bad. Do y'all see that? It's really no bubbles. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. And it's staring. It's mixing really good. It really is. It's mixing good. Now, I, I, I've got to say, um, I don't think I was supposed to use my um, my wooden stick. And I think that I'm going to stop because it, it just crossed my mind. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not a big issue, you know, not to use the wooden stick. But just to be on the safe side, I'll get my taller plastic stick my stir stick because I want this to be very good. I want everything to work out right. So I'm going to continue to mix. Don't forget you guys scrape the sides and the bottom. And you know, um, I, I meant to tell you all, you know, if you're using stone coat, um, this is the correct stuff that you do need to use for coasters because you can use hot or cold, you know, so it can stand the heat. It can stand the heat. It's scratch resistant. Um, there's just a lot of good things uh, working with uh, stone coat epoxy. I hear them say epoxy all the time. Going with the clear around the edges. Okay. I'm gonna go with this one. Just work it on around. Seems like I put a lot in that one. And my next one, I'm going to go here. I should have moved that uh, container over. But I think it'll be all right. Then I'll go here. To this last one. You guys, my hand is shaking because I'm not left-handed. I don't know why I'm trying to pour left-handed because I'm not and I'm just gonna go ahead and get this filled up not filled up but much some more just get in there see can I get this one okay then I am going to go with, hmm, I don't know. I better hurry up. <laughs> oh boy, this is something. I'm gonna go with the, uh, the silver leaf around the rocks. Okay. And if it scratches out, it just stretches out. I don't mind at all. It's scratching out a, a, a good bit too. <laughs> but it's fine. No worries. Okay. That was one. 
go here to my next one and I just want it to fall over to the side you know as if it was drifting from the rocks that I have in here that's what I want And I picked up the wrong one. Okay, let me do this one. Oh, this one is a little bit clumpy. I didn't stir this one up really good, but it's okay. Y'all see how it's just spreading out? Okay. And this last one. I better get that uh, epoxy from off of my table. I'll get it cleaned up. I just wanted to get this poured so that I won't have a mess, y'all. I don't want to miss. Okay. Now I'm going to pour this um this white. And it's not a really um opaque white. It's a more it's it's more a sort of a settled white. And I think I'm going to just try to go along the edges of this um, this foil that I have here I don't know what this is going to turn out to be like y'all oops <laughs> told y'all I wouldn't live in it we're gonna see it might turn out nice and it might turn out to be a okay guys I'm back I done whipped it up I whipped it up and now let's go ahead and get it poured in Now my thing is, uh, how do I want to pour it in? Do I want to pour it from the outside in? Or I think I'm going to do it from here. Just so that I can let this be a clear part. I want it to be clear anyway. And some around here. Grab it around here. And however it goes is fine with me I just wanted to make sure that I have that you know kind of clear center with showing that uh, that foil I really wanted that to show really good And looks like it's it look like it's it's gonna show really good. I think I'm all done 
with it. Oh, by the way, y'all, I colored these um these rocks myself and I added my own um uh reflective uh mirror to it. So I'm going to show y'all that on camera also one day. I, as, as a matter of fact, I've, I had bought a, um, a mirror yesterday, I think it was. I bought one, you know, the full-size body mirror. Um, I bought one of those from Walmart. And I decided, I said, well, look, you know, either you keep paying $18 for the little um jar of 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 the mirror reflective gems or you find another way that you won't have to pay that much for it and so <laughs> knowing me that's exactly what I did I said I am going to find another way and so um the mirror uh it was on the back of it, it was white. And I took and peeled all of the white stuff off. And then I took and, um, I took and spray painted the back like a, a like a light gray color. And so now uh, it's dry. So tomorrow I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna bust it open because, what well, what was this? It was a, uh, this was 1.54 pounds. Okay, um, I had got these from Amazon, but they 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 originally came from IKEA, I suppose. Yeah, IKEA, and they were eighteen dollars. So I said, no, 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 no. I can't do that. Not every time, because I I like it, but if I can find another way so that I don't have to pay as much, then that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. So that's exactly what I did. I um, bought me a mirror and I painted it. And so you can see like some of the stones, I'll try to get close up. Some of the stones um, are different, different cuts and stuff like that. But, you know, li like that, you can see that long piece right there. Um, but I, I did it myself, y'all, because anything that I can do myself, I will try to do it. Okay, guys, I got your final results. Um, I actually recorded me doing a, um, a portion of it. Give me one second. Let me plug my mic up. Give me one second. I thought I had it plugged up. Okay. Now, I, I thought I recorded a section for you, but some kind of way, <laughs> I wasn't recording when I thought I was recording. So, uh, so let me show you what it looks like it is transparent like I wanted it to be you know I told you I wanted to have the clear part portion in the middle so I do have that and it looks nice um, here's the back that concludes the stone coat art coat epoxy and I like it um, it does take a while for it to dry as it says on the um, instructions it says 24 hours to cure but seven days for a full cure um, I'm just a little impatient but if I want good quality I can be patient for that okay so you guys um, like subscribe share